Our reading this morning comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 46. Bel bows down, Nebo stoops. Their idols are on beasts and cattle. These things you carry are loaded as burdens on weary animals. They stoop, they bow down together. They cannot save the burden, but themselves go into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been born by me from your birth, carried from the womb. Even to your old age, I am he. Even when you turn gray, I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. I will carry and will save. So, sometimes we miss when scripture is funny. So much about humor is context and culture and sharing this common set of ideas and images. When we read these passages from long ago, it's easy for that sort of thing to just fly over our heads. But when you dig down, this passage is hilarious. For its time, this is a knee-slapping, laugh-out-loud burn from Isaiah. Because you see, in Isaiah's world, the Babylonian Empire looms large over Israel. There's the people in exile, the people under threat back home. They're having to face these intimidating outsiders and the strange gods they bring with them. But Isaiah is poking holes in this pomp and grandeur of the Babylonian gods. The Babylonian gods were being worshipped in the form of huge idols of stone and metal. And they literally had to be carried around to places of worship by believers, hiked up on their shoulders. Isaiah is telling them, look at these ridiculous Babylonians. They carry their gods around on their backs like they're a bunch of ox. They're beasts of burden. They're <laughs> carrying around their immobile and heavy gods. Their gods are just pet rocks that have gone totally out of control. But then he turns it around. The God of Israel isn't a lifeless burden that has to be carried. Instead, he's the one who carries. God is the one who takes us on his back and sees us through. He's the one who pours life and motion into us, not the other way around. Don't settle for lugging dead rocks with your life. Don't let yourself be hitched to empty idols that rely on you to drag them around. Instead, let's put our trust in the God who carries, the creator, the sustainer, the God who saves.